I'm Daniel. I'm Jay-Z. And this is Just My DIY. If you've looked at all for sublimation stuff on Amazon, you've likely come across the brand PYD Life. And PYD Life came across us. They said, would you like to try our tumbler press, perhaps some of our blanks, our paper, and even our tape? We said absolutely, because you guys know we love some sublimation and we haven't yet tried out a tumbler press. Now, we are impressed with this press. <laughs> Which we're going to show you how we unbox and test all this great stuff throughout this video. Stick around and see how it turns out. So here's how it arrived in the box. It's uh, a box. <laughs> so we open the box. We try to make this super interesting. But what was interesting is that there are these thank you cards in everything and honestly it made us feel super appreciated. But otherwise, unboxing it was easy and simple and you just pick it out. Pull off the styrofoam and the plastic and you are almost ready to go. Uh, we will say that it did come with an instruction manual with some suggested temperatures uh, and times and we definitely appreciated that. We're going to go ahead and run through the dimensions real quick. We have a 16 and a half inches deep, uh, 14 and a half inches high with the handle all the way open. It is 12 inches wide, at least the machine is, but you want to give an extra couple inches for that cord so you're not like smashing it. Exactly. Here are the other materials that PYD Life so graciously sent us. Uh, we have a variety of blanks as well as their tape and paper and we're gonna test all of those out. And here's some of the rest of the things we need to do with sublimation, mats, butcher paper, gloves, and cleaning materials. Everything will be linked below, including the graphics that we're gonna use, that beer one from Etsy, the ice cream one from Design Bundles, as well as a few other cute ones from mugs, also from Design Bundles. This last one, we added some text to, and now we're gonna take you inside Photoshop. We are not Photoshop experts, but we'll show you a few of the tricks that we use. We like to have that native edge of the paper, so we make sure everything's straight. Uh, we set guidelines for how much space we want in between the designs, and then we line up to that. Now, of course, you know that you will need to flip your sublimation prints or mirror them, as people say. And now we're gonna go into the print settings. We're gonna select one of our many sublimation printers and then go into the settings. Now, this is a new paper that we're gonna be trying out, but we always start with premium presentation paper mat. Turns out that's a great setting for this paper as well as high quality on the print quality. So now we go into print and head over to the printer. So we pull it out of our custom cabinet, and this is a box of paper arrived in, 125 grain A4. But it should be noted that this is not an 8.5 by 11. That's right, we figured out after the first print, and there's no thank you card, <laughs> we figured out after the first print that it was A4 and not 8.5 by 11, so just keep that in mind. So this is our Cosmos ink coming out of the sublimation paper, printer, on paper. <laughs> <laughs> And we're just going to go ahead and cut it down and size it as appropriately as possible and plug in the machine. That's right. This machine is super easy to operate. We're just going to peel that film off and the power button is on the side. So to adjust the time and temperature, you'll just hit that set button and use the arrows and the set key. Pretty easy and actually standard across most heat presses. All that temperature testing just told us that the front is generally pretty easy to handle. For the sublimation test, one great thing about this tumbler press is that you can actually put two mugs in it at a time, uh, which is great if you're doing bulk orders. Just know that when you're setting the pressure, which you should always do anytime you're using a new blank, that those knobs might be a little greasy the first time you use them. But there are two of them, so adjust so the pressure is even across the board, well, across the press. <laughs> um, and it may take a few times to get used to it. Yeah, the biggest thing we were trying to get here is just making sure they were both even, so they both got equal pressure. Now, these stainless mugs do have a ridge on them. 
And we like to stay away from any ridges because those tend to create uh, ghosting when you're sublimating. So this is a standard cleaning process in alcohol with a microfiber cloth to remove that which is people, grease and oil and all. <laughs> and we're going to take the designs and trim them down to what will and can be centered on the mug given the handle and all. And once we have it placed and squarely aligned, we are going to just use some of their heat resistant tape and tape it. Yeah, you don't need a whole lot of tape if you're just doing a design like this. This isn't a full wrap or anything, it's just a single design on each side. So as long as you keep it in place and it's taut, uh, that should be good. So we're going to do the same thing on the other mug. Tape it. Taut it. <laughs> and then we're going to... Mark the edges of the design so we can keep in mind where we're going to be able to press it. We're just using some regular copy paper to give the buffer to absorb any loose sublimation gassing. Yeah, we would like to use two layers of butcher paper just so we make sure we don't get any marks inside of our press. And now we're going to put these two in. We have the bottoms facing out on each side and we're going to press it at around 356 for 60 seconds. Make sure you have some heat resistant gloves because this will be hot coming out. And we like to peel things hot, so we get right to work. Uh, there yeah. it is, bam. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, we peel hot just because we don't want any ghosting or anything to happen after the fact, so we try to get the designs off as quickly as possible. Now moving on to the can cooler, we're going to... Adjust the tension on it again. We're gonna get it so it's a good medium pressure as we want on almost all of these. Mm -hmm. And clean the humans off of it. That's right. Yeah, you want to make sure that you do adjust the pressure anytime you change blanks as well as clean everything. The same as before, we trim the design. It's a little harder to get this level as we would want it, so we just make sure it puts a little extra effort into that. Tape it. We're going to mark the edges again. And um, we're doing that on this one in particular, so there's no handle, and we just want to make sure that everything's even around. So we're going to get out the measuring tape and double check to make sure that it is spaced evenly, and it is. Then we're going to pull out our actual butcher paper. This one's a little too wide for our um, other paper that we wanted to use, so we're all going to transfer those marks to the outside so we know exactly where they are when we put them in the press. And then press it. And we're staying at that same time and temperature. We're going to pick it out. And of course, the same as we did before, we're going to try and peel it while it's hot. Definitely be careful not to burn yourself because these are incredibly hot when they come out. You'll see we have our temperature gun there. We always check it to make sure we know what we're dealing with. We're going to move on to a 20 ounce tumbler here. Now you'll see we're trying to keep it away from the edge. Um, we'll go more into depth in this in a video specifically on sublimating tumblers in this press. Um, but the edges do have some fall off in temperature, so you want to be mindful of that when you're doing these larger blanks in particular. We are going to spin it because you don't get a full coverage with the heat. Uh, on a full wrap tumbler, so make sure you spin it and we let it sit for 60 seconds each time. Energy's kicking me out of the way. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> you saw that. There's proof. But here's the reveal. That one turned out great. It really did. Again, this is our first tumbler in here. We have some techniques that we learned throughout this process that, again, we'll show you in a separate video. But look at that release on the paper. Like, that's pretty good. It is. Great transfer rate. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to do the 30 ounce tumbler. We did the same thing. 60 seconds one side, flipped it another 60 seconds. And look at how everything turned out. This was so easy to use for sure. Now that we've given it all a try, we can say for sure that we are impressed with this tumbler press. So, thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. I insist.
<laughs> thank you. But seriously, thank you to all of you for watching this video, as well as thank you to PYD Life for providing us this press and all of the great materials. Uh, if you have anything to say, then feel free to leave it in the comment line. If you like the video, then you should click that like button, subscribe, ring the bell, Know that everything that we use to do this is listed in the description. Also in the description are links to all of our social handles. Please connect with us across platforms. We love hearing from you. And don't forget to check out our blog at JustMyDIY.com. Thanks for watching.